Ah, good day. Well, I just wanted to um, do a little video clip on the uh, IKEA Sunan solar-powered lamp, and um, it's twenty dollars. Um, and um, I was a bit skeptical when I first bought it, but uh, I absolutely love it. I've got to tell you, um, it's very nicely designed. Uh, at twenty bucks, it's it's affordable, and um, and it does a really good job. I uh, don't know if we're gonna see the power of that. It's actually got um, three little LED uh, panel lights in there that light it up. And um, I use it as a desk lamp by the computer, so when I'm working at night, I can see the um, the keyboard. And um, it's, it really has done a great job. Uh, the little uh, solar charge on it. Has lasted me maybe four or five days, and um, you know, remember I only use it maybe a couple of hours each evening. I'm using the light, but um, nice little on and off switch. But the great thing, what I like about these, what started my brain thinking is, um, I wanted to do a hack, like everything I get hold of, I like to take it apart. And one of the great features of this is the actual solar cell and battery compartment just pops out. Um, it's just got the slot in uh, connector right there, and um, I really, I really think that's a very clever design, and it got me thinking that like, wow, I wish I could buy multiple of these, have them all lined up on the windowsill charging, so that when I needed them. Anyway, so um, my goal originally was to uh, pack this and um, disconnect this part of it and run the cable from my standard lamp in the lounge, rewire it in there and run a regular lamp. Um, obviously the power restraints are restricting, so one of the things I did do was buy an LED replacement bulb, which obviously uses 80% less energy than a regular bulb, and I was hoping that the uh, power pack would manage to uh, power this, but it, it doesn't. Um, I need to get a larger uh, power pack. Anyway, so um, I, I'll take you through the steps of what's inside this little puppy. Um, if you just pop that out, you want to pop that over. We have um, four screws here that undo the main case. And um, once that's undone, this just comes apart here like so. Um, Basically what you've got is you, your power connection and then um, your wire going out here to your LED. Uh, this part up here just forces out with a screwdriver in here, you can pop that out but it is very very tight I will warn you, you will probably scratch the casing trying to take that out but um, inside you've got this um, magnifying uh, piece of glass here that just uh, sort of like spreads the light out but you've just got three little LED lights um, on a little circuit board a couple of screws holding that in there I will probably end up taking that out to use on another project but the wires go down this long bendy tube um, and come into here uh, there was a couple of screws holding this little bit on and then um, the circuitry just runs round the uh, the outer edges here. There's a couple of weights in here to give it the weighty feel, and then under here is just your on and off switch. Um, so basically, your uh, your solar power um, through the two terminals is going to your on and off switch and back out up to your LED. Um, so it's pretty simple inside, and. Um, I, I actually took this apart to get the uh, two connectors out as well, just a couple of screws and these little connectors are just sitting in plastic brackets. But anyway, um, important part was the solar cell. Again, four screws, pops out and um, it contained three AA batteries which are 1200 mAh and I believe they're 1.2 volts each. Um, Set this little casing, and then this little circuitry was inside here, and um, 
this creates the little uh, terminals inside here what make the connector on the power there but I was more interested in what circuitry was in inside and there's a little diode um, which stops the power draining back from the battery into the solar cell and then a fuse to stop it um, overpowering or as I've actually done on this I've actually blown the fuse on this one because I connected um, a stronger power um, I, I connected a little 12 volt battery and it blew it but anyway um, you can see the potential inside there I love this idea of these um, portable uh, cell devices and um, I, I can see in it being uh, multiple use for other devices uh, by rewiring this this part in here the, the out section here by rewiring that um, to create a like an appliance to power uh, maybe an alarm clock or uh, other small lamps but um, but just as a standard lamp it's well worth the 20 bucks and um, I w is it, like I said I wish they would sell these separately so you could line them up and then as it goes flat you just swap them over as you can see I've already got three of them and uh, the one that I've took apart I'm using as a spare cell but I'm also going to work on making uh, a more powerful solar pack that then will uh, power my LED bulb and my, my regular lamp and if that works then I should go on to power things like a little photo frame and uh, it maybe even recharge my laptop but anyway there it is IKEA Sunan lamp $20 um, and um, there's my little hack version took it completely apart that's everything inside uh, this alone is a great little device to recharge things you can actually recharge your cell phone from that by just uh, sticking your cables in I've actually marked the positive and negative on that as well because I kind of get a little bit uh, back to front sometimes and tend to blow the fuses but um, yeah hope that was uh, useful seeing the inside of that and um, yeah, good luck if you've got any other uh, ideas or suggestions, uh, leave some feedback on the YouTube uh, channel and um, maybe you can teach me something as well. But uh, thanks for watching, Urban Green Survival. Uh, check out the blog spot and um, Facebook, Twitter, and thanks a lot.